Hello and welcome to the Tarka Zone. Today's video is going to be on Revelation Online. I'm here on their uh, Facebook page. I kind of try to get most of their updates and news from their Facebook page. It just seems easier for me because I use Facebook all the time and they just send me the updates. Now the update I just recently got and the reason for this video was they're allowing you to get early access to reserve your name. So if you've bought in, I believe it's a second to third tier box, not the simple box, but I believe it's just for those people that have bought the expensive boxes. They're giving you a few days earlier to actually Actually reserve your name and you can go to their Facebook uh, page and here it is it and you just click on here or you can go to uh, my.com get there that way and the game actually the game interface uh, when you bring up actually I can do that for you right now um, if you click on your if you've already downloaded the game obviously you'd have to click on the actual game icon on your desktop or wherever you got it. I'm waiting for it to load here I've got black desert online <laughs> running in the background so sometimes this takes a little bit of time to get it here but when you bring up the uh, game interface when this thing loads we're gonna get some information here that's going to give us here it is name reservation available and you want to take advantage of that and we're gonna go through that right now so either if you click on this link here or going back to their Facebook page and clicking on this link it's going to bring you into their website here we are it's telling us we can reserve the name and how you do that they don't really kind of spell it out and I don't want you to flounder around like a fish on a dock I'm going to show you how to do it you want to go to your profile here once you've logged in you want to go to your profile okay here under your profile they're gonna they're gonna bring up this first interface it's always marketing right it's always about making money so the first thing they bring up here is this balance transfers well they've actually put it here in a second tab which most people wouldn't even know to even look here they're gonna because this is what it defaults to it's like okay how do I reserve my name what, what am I supposed to do well it's right here name reservation okay so I've already put my name in that I want, and it's obviously Tarkas. And what I uh, did was there was a blank opening here that just allows you to type your name and you hit submit, it puts it here. Now, I'm not really sure if they've uh, said yes to this or not. I think it's just putting it in the list here as, okay, this is what you prefer. We're going to try to give that to you if someone else has it. Well, it's telling you here how long I've got to reserve a name. And depending on your, well, it, this is your name is dependent on your, how many keys you've got. And I've only bought one box set, you know, the, I bought the tier three box set. And so it's only going to give me one name reservation. So they're saying here to buy additional names, you need to buy additional packs. So you have to spend money to actually add more names here. Uh, it gives you a little bit of the information here um, and how they're how they're doing this. Now, okay. Well, I also want while well, I've got your attention and making sure that your your involvement into this game is smooth. I do want to kind of pitch the guild I'm in again, just because, you know, it's important to have a guild in this game. And you might be one of those anti-social guys that likes to sit in a closet. That's all great for you. But if you want to really get game content in this game, the, the, the real great stuff, you're going to need to be in a guild. And even you can go live in that closet 99% of the time. No one's going to bother you. It's just that every once in a while when you want to, you know, the gimp under the stairs, if you want to come out, and, and be with other people, then you'll be able to enjoy some of the content. So I'm going to bring up uh, cheese. Uh, let me think about the easiest way for me to do this. I think I would probably, yeah, to, to get to my guild's information smoothly, I'm going to just open up Discord. Yep, we use Discord. 
just bear with me. I've got a few things running. I was just watching Netflix, the case against O.J. Simpson. That's actually pretty good. So the guild, my BD, my new BDO guild is focused. I actually joined their guild. But the uh, Obsidian Order is the guild for Revelation Online. So here is their name. And their in-game guild name, I think it's just going to be Obsidian. But I might be wrong about that. Here is their Discord channel. They actually have done a pretty good job at uh, putting the, uh, the amount of channels in uh, that seem appropriate. So everybody has the right information. These are text channels. If you didn't know that, these top ones. So like Guild Info. If I click here, this it's basically categorizing it. The, the text in this channel is being categorized as Guild Info. And then you got Guild Rules and Announcements, General. It's the voice lobbies here that allow you to talk between members. Okay. And if you didn't know, and I, I'm going to try to do this uh, seamlessly here. I'm going to minimize my Discord channel here. And I am going to go to, I think it's under my profile. Let me just bear with me here. Because I was going to see if there was an easy way to get to our website. Actually, the easiest way probably would have been got the guild info. And I bet you it's right here. Here it is right here. That would have been the best way. So if... If you aren't in our Discord, this is how you would get... I'm going to show you. We're going to click on here, and I'm going to show you how to get here. Because it's the uh, guild portals are built within the the Revelation Online's website, as you can see here. So, so when you log into your profile, or if you don't have a profile, and you go to my.com, and you come to the Revelation section, you're going to come probably start here in the dashboard, Right? This is where you're gonna. This is where you're gonna start with the dashboard. And you got forums, and you got guilds, and you got, you got bug tracker. So it's under guilds here that you want to click. And this is where you're gonna find the guild portals uh, that people or that guilds have created. And you can figure out which one you want. I'm not really sure what a obsidian is in. Uh, geez, and, and there's no quick button for me to, unless one of these do it. No. It would be nice if I could, ju if they had just a button that lets me search all guilds. But we're here, so let me see if I can get to us. I'm thinking that would probably under, actually, before I do any guessing here, let me just go back to their their that link and go directly to them and I'll know what category that we're okay computer I shouldn't be taking that long okay they are they're under North American semi hardcore you can see it here North American guilds guilds revelation online and this is a this is basically their their little mini portal page and they'll have their own forums here too so to go back to the previous screen where we're here, it'd be North Semi High Semi High Core. There's only 33, I guess, in here. And I guess at this point you would just have to either scroll. I guess I could have typed at the top, right? And probably did a did a search. But we can uh, I'm not gonna go through 33 pages of nonsense to get here. You would think. Okay, categories. Let's see if we can just put an. Oh. Okay, I have a guild name tag, and I mean, really, we just need to put an O here, right? No, that didn't do it either. You would think they would make this a little easier. So, okay, so. Sending to sender, what's this? Okay, I'm gonna initial letter. Oh, that's not really doing anything. Well, I tell you what, I'm not gonna spend the time trying to navigate this craziness um, here with their website because it doesn't seem like you can search from this point on. So I had to go on and, well, I guess it did. It eventually caught up and did it. There we go. And sure enough, there's only three guilds listed after the search. And I, 
unless we started the let me go back that oh because the, they started with the so that's a Tarkus don't do a Tarkus so I guess you just have to have patience so what you would do is here you are I was gonna go and tell you that I can put the link the direct link in my YouTube channel so you don't have to go through this nonsense and oh hey here we are so just sort by the T so just a recap and again don't do a Tarkus that's why I'm here trying to show you North American um, semi hardcore and then when you get over here just hit your just hit your T and it just takes a second and that's what that's what was getting me and here we are and then you go here but I will add the direct link the one that is here this is it here the one that they, the, this direct link that I'm talking about in their Discord channel, I will um, copy and paste this now. And when I update this uh, video to my page, then you'll have the direct link and you won't have to go through all that craziness. And and, it, and really, this video is supposed to be about the name uh, reservation, but it's it, this is important information. Even if you don't want to join the guild that I'm joining, uh, you need to be in a guild for this game. I mean, it's it's going to have phenomenal guild content, and even solo players are going to be able to um, enjoy some of the guild benefits. And the reason why you ask yourself, well, why I finally joined a guild in BDO is because of the guild buffs. I said to myself, I probably won't do anything with the guild, but to be able to have the buffs that they provide is great. And every once in a while, the guild uh, focus in BDO uh, will do a uh, life skills uh, quest for the guild, and I'll go out and just knock that out of the park for them. So my activity level is pretty good because when they do those life skill events, I do them. And it will be similar to this Revelation Online where the, the guild will be doing certain things. I mean, you got a pool of people, and I'm just going to use this as an example. you got got 100 people. Well, let's just break that out into 10 slots, right? So 10, 10, 10, 10. So you got 10 people per slot. So those 10 people are going to be unique to do what they want. Then there's going to be another group of 10 that's going to be unique to what they want to do. And that's how guilds work. So if you find the right guild, you just got to figure out where your peg fits into those groupings. Sometimes with guilds, all 100 people do stuff together all the time. And, you know, the reality of that, that can't really happen. Because when you've got five-man dungeons, you can't be sitting in a room with 50 people talking over each other. So you got to kind of drop out and go to another room. A voice voice room is what I am what I mean by that. So, you know, but you'll still have core people. Like, I'll be a tank. So I'm assuming that if I can t tank well in this game, I'll be my peg will fit in multiple groups. Because most people want a DPS. So it'll be like, Tarkus, you know, I, can you come run this dungeon with us so that, you know, we can grind gear. And if this game doesn't have dungeon caps, I'll be running dungeons all day long. Even though that dungeon might be worthless to me. Because in WoW, I would do like dead mines. I was like 65th level when I was running th people through dead mines still. And that is like the beginning thing. I would get absolutely nothing for doing it other than the satisfaction of helping the guild members who were low level get the stuff they needed to move on. So that's the type of player I am. I can I can revisit old content that may, may makes no addition to my character as long as it's helping the rest of the guild out. And that's what guild players are supposed to be like, you know what I mean? So I want to thank you for joining me today. This has been the Tarkus Zone.